title, Popular Myths of Valley Forge, narrated by Laura Linney. Text appears. Were any battles fought at Valley Forge? Then, Continental soldiers fire their muskets. No military battles were fought at Valley Forge. Valley Forge was a winter encampment of more than 12,000 soldiers and hundreds of civilians. Soldiers and camp followers walk among cabins. The Continental Army spent six months retraining, resupplying, and preparing for the next season of battle against the British. Montage of soldiers training and preparing. While skirmishes did take place surrounding the encampment, the greatest battles at Valley Forge were fought against deadly diseases, hunger, and inadequate supplies. Nurse and doctor tend to sick patients. Then, women and men wrapped in blankets sit by a campfire. Text appears. Was Valley Forge the coldest encampment of the Revolutionary War? The winter was actually relatively mild. Meteorological records by local resident Thomas Coombe show average daily temperatures of 33 degrees during the first month of the encampment. Finding shelter from the cold winds and weather was the greater problem. A cabin crowded with soldiers sleeping in piles of straw. Many of the difficulties faced by the army at Valley Forge were due more to rain than snow. In the rain, a soldier stands in mud with torn breeches and boots. Rain prevented vital supplies from arriving in camp as rivers became treacherously swollen and local roads became muddy and impassable. A wagon pushed through thick mud. The intermittent snow and rain created miles upon miles of sticky, foul-smelling mud that slowed movement within the encampment. A muddy and wet footpath. Then a historic illustration of Washington kneeling and praying. Text appears. Did George Washington pray in the snow at Valley Forge? It would have been unlikely for Washington to pray in public where soldiers might come upon him. And there is no eyewitness account or historical evidence to support this story. Illustration of a man watching Washington pray. The legend was popularized in 1804 by biographer Parson Weems, who also spread the myth of Washington cutting down a cherry tree. Washington did frequently write about divine providence in his letters and ensured that his soldiers had access to chaplains of various denominations. In a cabin, people listen to a chaplain, then voice of General George Washington. While we are zealously performing the duties of good citizens and soldiers, we certainly ought not to be inattentive to the higher duties of religion. Washington writes a letter, then illustration of Washington praying. These inaccurate yet popular romantic myths about Valley Forge greatly aided recognition of the encampment within American culture, creating a public awareness that ultimately helped to preserve these historic grounds as a national park. An aerial view of a monument. Text appears. Valley Forge National Historical Park.